way, it's all going. Right, Daryl, what season you had last season? Oh, yeah. Um, obviously, 10 points clear the top of the table. Was, that was, you know, we were so consistent that we played um, a brand of rugby league that we wanted to, uh, that we set out right from the start. Um, obviously, disappointed, grand final, just um, an off day from us. Leeds were, were fantastic. Um, and there we go, we are back into it now, looking forward to the challenge ahead. That philosophy of open rugby league, where did that come from? Is it something you, you've always thought you wanted to play as you've developed as a coach? Oh, yeah, well, I think at, at Castleford, I, mean, I was at Featherston before that and we played a, a similar way. Um, you get to Castleford 2014 onwards, I think we've we've, we've tried to play in, in, a, in a way that we believe as a coaching staff is, is right for us. I mean, Classic Cass is, is the way that Castleford's uh, have been termed um, over, over the history and uh, we've, we've tried to, uh, to live up to that. Uh, for next season, um, everyone's going to see you as a huge scalp, aren't they? What are you going to do to combat that? Because everybody will want to beat you as the, the team of the season in many people's eyes. Well, you've just got to play well, haven't you? You've got to be aware that you've got to prepare for it, for every game. Um, teams are going to come and challenge you. You've got to use it as motivation to bring the best out of you. And I uh, I think we'll do all that. I think we're, we're aware of the challenges that are at, that are ahead. Um, there's some unknown quantities. There's new coaches coming in the Super League. Um, you know, Justin Albrook's had a uh, pre-season with, with St Helens. Wakefield were great last year. All of a real challenge. It's, I just think it's an interesting, exciting competition uh, this year and um, we're really looking forward to it. It's obviously a very intense competition as well. The matches come thick and fast, don't they? What do you do to relax? Um, I bought a boat, actually. I bought a little boat. So um, I, I love water, so I get down by the water um, I don't know any fishing yet, but I might bring that in uh, to chill what, me out. Is it a yacht or a rowing boat? No, it's a, uh, it's a cruiser, but it's only a small one. Um, it's not. Oh, it's, I'm not telling you. It's somewhere, it's somewhere in Yorkshire. But it's in the <laughs> No, somewhere in Yorkshire, which is not too far from where so I when live. When you go on the boat, um, like Captain Pugwash style, <laughs> do, you, do, you, uh, do you keep your phone on? Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't always answer it, but I, I generally keep my phone on. My wife gives me a hard time about that. And, so uh, if you're Popeye, it's your wife Olive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she wouldn't appreciate that, I don't think. No. Uh, right, for next season then, who do you think, where do you think the uh, biggest rivals will be? Um, a lot of people are tipping St Helens to come strong again, like they did at the end of last year. Obviously, Leeds, um, and obviously yourselves, which are obviously a superb team. Where do you think the competition is going to come from? Well, all of the above. Um, yeah, I think Wake, Wakefield. I think there's so many teams that have got a positive edge to them. I mean, Warrington have got a new coach, and um, what kind of philosophy is he going to bring? I've heard Sean Wayne talking about the way that they're going to play, a different style. Um, Saints, obviously. Uh, it's going to be tough. I think the competition looks really evenly balanced. Um, obviously, we, we got away from teams last year. I don't expect that to happen this year. I think it's going to be a tight competition. Um, it's going to be intense and, and I, I think the unknown quantity of it is, is creating a, a fair bit of excitement. If you could sign one player from a rival club, who would it be? Oh, yeah, that's a tough one. I think, um, you know, I'm, I'm backing Benny, Benny Roberts to, uh, to be outstanding at, at, at fullback. I think, um, you know, a real challenge for teams is going to be Ben Barber um, at, at fullback this, this year. and. You know, he'd be a good addition for any any team. Um, so he, he's going to be a player who, who could uh, light, light the comp up and, and teams are going to have to defend outstandingly well to, uh, to deal with him. That's smashing. Thanks for that. Thank you. Cheers. Right, you have yeah, something right. to eat? Right. Okay, well, we'll, we'll go with...